Hi, I'm Jeannie. Welcome to Mimi Craft, your home for all things creative and DIY on a budget. I make all the mistakes so you don't have to. Today we'll be making a mid-century modern style clock two different ways. This is the clock I purchased from Amazon. You'll need some Dollar Tree tumbling tower blocks, 12 of them. You'll need 12 cover buttons for the other style. These can be purchased on Amazon, craft stores, fabric stores, very easy to find. Dollar Tree wrapping paper with a grid on the back. And Command Velcro picture hanging strips. I'll leave links for supplies in the description box below. Roll out your wrapping paper grid side up. The grid's kind of hard to see on the video, but it's all in one inch squares. You should tape it down because this stuff is going to roll all over the place on you. Using a marker or a pen, place a dot in the center of your page. Count 12 squares to the right, make a mark. 12 squares down, make a mark. The same for the left and up above. This will be the 12, 3, 6, and 9 positions on your clock. Cut a piece of string or twine roughly 15 inches. Place a piece of tape on the end to keep it from unraveling. Roll it around a little bit until it has a sharp point. Using a toothpick or a needle, place a hole in the center dot that you made. From underneath, thread the string through till it's up on top. Are you enjoying my head? You're welcome. Secure it to the back with a piece of tape. Reinforce the hole in the front with some more tape so it doesn't tear. With a pen or a marker, mark the 12 inch spot on the string. Make a loop on the end of the string where the mark is at the top. Secure it with a piece of tape. This will be 12 inches for your radius. Place a pen or a marker inside the loop and make your circle. This is essentially a homemade compass. Take your time. It's important that it's accurate. Remove the string and carefully cut out the circle. This is going to be the template for your clock and it is 2 feet or 24 inches wide. Guys, I went through a lot of wrapping paper with all the mistakes I made. I'm glad it was only Dollar Tree. Mark off a quarter section of your circle. We're going to copy this to use as a template for making the numbers. Lay down a piece of paper large enough to copy your quarter circle. Mark your center dot, then carefully trace the outer edge of a quarter of the circle. Make a mark at both ends. Connect the center marking to each end with the ruler and that should give you a perfect quarter circle. I'm sure you get the idea just by watching what I'm doing here on the video. And here I'm just cutting out the template. Uh, stay right on those lines. It's important that you stay accurate.
carefully fold the quadrant template in two thirds. I totally did this by eye because I hate measuring. Flip it over and fold that back side down. If everything lines up, you're good to go. If not, continue adjusting and folding until all three triangles match up on the edges. Now, if you really want me to do this mathematically, it's 2 pi r divided by 12. Make a half inch mark at both sides of the bottom of the triangle. Place the template so that the point is directly at the center and the bottom edge matches up. Mark the half inch up and the very bottom. This will be where the numbers are going to be placed on the wall. Measure all the way around. When you've finished with all of these markings, take a toothpick or a needle and puncture a little hole at all the half inch points going all the way around. This will allow you to make markings on the wall without having to lift up the clock template. Place the top of your template on the wall. Now using a level on that middle line Make sure that it's absolutely level before you put any more tape on. Secure it all the way around. Using a pencil, Make a mark through each one of the holes that you previously made and on the corresponding edge above it. 24 in all. These markings will show us where to place the Velcro. mark at the very center for the clock. Carefully remove your template, being careful not to tear it because you may need it again if you make any mistakes. Now for the numbers. Take your 12 tumbling tower blocks and sand them smooth. The smoother you sand them, the nicer the color will go on. We're actually not going to be painting. We're going to be using this product called Rub and Buff um, in the color of Silver Leaf. You can get this on Amazon or any craft store. Probably going to want some gloves. This stuff is kind of messy. It's a wax. Using a piece of an old t-shirt, apply the rub and buff to all sides of the blocks except for one of the long skinny ones. That's what's going to be up against the wall. The command adhesive won't stick to the rub and buff. I uh, found that out the hard way. As you'll see, I painted all possible edges and uh, had to go back and do everything over again.
this is how we'll do the round numbers. Take your cover buttons, just the taps, just the button part, and load them up with hot glue. Um, another thing I found out the hard way, they get really hot, so wear a glove while you're holding it. It'll take a good five to 10 minutes to set up. Now for the command Velcro, uh, take a couple strips and uh, snap them together. We're gonna be cutting these in pairs. Gonna be a quarter inch wide and half inch long. If you just watch, you'll get the idea. There will be a total of 12 pairs or 24 individual pieces. These buggers fly all over the place as you're cutting them. I used hot glue for videotaping purposes, but the adhesive and the command strips should work out just fine for you. Make sure the Velcro is even with the top edge of the black. For the buttons, you'll only need single pieces, one half by one half inch of the command Velcro. I don't know why I numbered these, but I did. Anyway, gonna remove one of the Velcro pads from each one of these. Those are the pads that are gonna be mounted directly to the wall. Now we're gonna use all those little half inch markings that we made to uh, place the Velcro all the way around. Just peel off the back and stick them right on. Just a quick close-up of the process. I actually read the directions on the command strips and each one of these you're supposed to press into place for 30 seconds. I, I didn't do that, but um, probably a good idea. They're so friggin' hard to peel off with fake nails. Finally sticking on the blacks. Forgot to show you putting Velcro on the back of the clock and sticking the clock on the wall. So here's the first version. The reason for the Velcro size is so that you can change back and forth between the dots and the blocks if you would like to. The dots seem to hold quite well with these little pieces of Velcro. And there's the dot clock. Now before I show you what these look like in my house, I'm going to ask you to take a minute to please smash that like button 
and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see some more content. It really help your girl out. Here they are. Aren't those so fun? I'm really enjoying them in my home. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about the projects today, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, if there's anything you'd like me to make that you'd like to see, please let me know there also. Thank you so much. Till next time, bye!